Andrew, tell me, what are some of the key things you're looking to learn and find out more about here at the Conference of Passenger Terminal Expo? Well, one of the things we're really keen to learn here is just um, customer service. It's important for us to look at what other people are doing and what we can learn from uh, customer service that we can apply. It's something that we're very keen to do. We're already quite well regarded and have won a lot of rewards for service, but there's always more we can learn. Um, the other thing that we're very keen on is you know, how can we particularly maximise the use of technology to overcome a capacity crunch that we currently have in our existing Muscat Airport facility. We do have a new airport that's due to open in uh, about a couple of years' time, but we're already capacity constrained in a lot of areas. So where we can apply relatively low-cost technology solutions to in improve capacity, then that's, that's what we'd like to be able to do. So to be able to come here, not just for the conference, but also for the exhibition, look at the technologies, listen to what other people are doing, listen to their experience, it just gives us a great opportunity to learn from that and see what we can apply back at our home base. So. And there are things that you've been picking up that you, you can look to apply? Very much. I mean, one of the exciting bits of technology yesterday that I was learning about was the, uh, the bag drop, um, you know, the self-service bag drop but also the ability to pay excess baggage directly through the, uh, you know, through the machine itself. You know, we all know that, in, again, going back to customer service, people don't like paying for excess baggage, and it tends to be a point of frustration or, or conflict at times. So if there's a technological solution that takes some of that, that away from confrontation between passengers and, uh, and the airline staff, then we actually see that as a benefit. So I think there's some people who just pay their excess baggage and then, then get on with it. Um, the bag drop itself is, a, is an interesting concept. I mean, one of the things that we don't have a lot of, uh, in fact, we don't have any self-service technology within the airport currently. Uh, we rely upon just, uh, you know, web check-in. Um, and one of the reasons why we don't have it is because we have a lot of passengers with a lot of baggage. So unless we could solve the baggage problem, then self-service check-in didn't really actually provide a solution for us. But now there's the, you know, improved technology for bag drop and self-tagging of bags. That's something that, that is of uh, great interest to us. So it's certainly something we'll look at in, in more detail. One of the key things you said there was improved technology because we know the industry is looking to try and make it as efficient and usable as possible. That's the balance. Technology moves on, but you've got to make sure that the customer is benefiting from that technology. Absolutely, and I think one of the, the issues that we struggle with is that the different segmentation of passengers that we see within the region that we're operating is you've got different levels of tech, uh, adoption of technology. So you've got people that are you know, business travellers that, that are used to technology and they're, they're used to using it to help them. And then we also have a high number of, um, of uh, customers that maybe don't travel very regularly, maybe only once every couple of years when they're moving back between their home countries and the, and the Middle East. And, uh, and they're not very high um, adopters of technology. So you've got this complete spectrum that we, we have to try and cater for. And one of the things that, with technology for us as well was looking at stability because um, we don't want to be an early adopter necessarily. We don't want to be at the leading edge of technology and, and be experimenting with it with such a diverse market. So we'd prefer to look at technology that's, that's in place, that's evolved, that's developed and, and that has um, low risk attached to it rather than a, a higher risk. So. And describe your experience of the conference and you know, what your impressions are of the organisation and the types of people that are here. Uh, I think this it's actually my first time, even though I've been involved with airports for a long time, this is my first time actually at the conference and I, I think it's a very valuable conference. I think the exhibitions in terms of um, the companies that are here and, and what they're, they're actually showing in terms of their uh, products and services that they have has uh, been very beneficial and I think the conferences of themselves have been very useful. Um, it's very useful to speak to like-minded people, people that look at the, the, our industry in a slightly different way. I've just come from the uh, service design, engine service design group um, uh, in a sort of presentation and, and that was just a breath of fresh air really. That's, that's a company that's looking at airports with a completely different perspective. So to, to meet like-minded people, to meet my peers, there's a lot of people here that you know. I mean, one thing is that the industry is relatively small. Um, but then to be able to see them and, and talk to them about what they're now doing and how they've evolved and, and what problems they're facing and how they're tackling them I think is also beneficial. So networking's been great, the information from the conference itself has been great and I, and I think the, um, the exhibition in terms of the, the presentation of products and services is also excellent. So very good, very worthwhile and I think I'll definitely be back here in the future.